Hey guys, it's Zachary from Huawei Zone and today I'm going to talk about HMS or Huawei Mobile Services. Okay, so why are we doing this now? Well, there's still a bit of confusion regarding HMS ever since Huawei launched the Mate 30 Pro late last year. They've just launched the 5G version of the Mate 30 Pro here in Singapore. They announced the second generation foldable phone, the Mate XS, just last week. And by the end of March, we're going to see the next P-series flagship, the P40, announced as well. So before all these phones get here, I thought we'd take some time to look at where HMS stands today, bust some myths around it, and give you some hot tips on how to use a HMS Android phone. Myth number one. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro is not an Android phone. That's false. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro runs on EMUI 10, which is based on the latest version of Android, which is Android 10. Now, Android is the operating system. What this phone isn't is that this phone does not have GMS, which is Google Mobile Services. What it does have, though, is HMS, which is Huawei Mobile Services. GMS or HMS are basically the underlying services that run on the phone. These things power everything from your payment systems to cloud services and of course the app gallery itself. So the correct term to use is that the Mate 30 Pro is not a GMS Android phone but it is a HMS Android phone. Myth number two, Android apps will not work with the Mate 30 Pro. Well, that's true and false because while this is an Android device, like we've established, um, as a HMS device, if the apps only work with GMS services or have not been updated to work with HMS, then they might not work properly on the Mate 30 Pro or future HMS devices. So two examples of this are Netflix and Grab. Now, both are Android apps which you can get installed on the phone except that Netflix will not work at all. You can start the app, but because it uses GMS for its decryption and security, you can't play any movies on Netflix. But Grab, on the other hand, you can get it installed, you can get payments set up, you can actually even order Grab or Grab Food. The only problem is that the mapping uses GMS and you can't see where your drivers are. But eventually, the food might arrive. We can just try that today. So now that we've established that a HMS Android device like the Mate 30 Pro is an Android phone, how do you actually get apps on it? The easiest way to do this is to use Huawei's phone clone app. If your Mate 30 Pro is a new device, all you have to do is import your data from your old device, start phone clone, and in your old device, if it's a Huawei phone, it should already have this. If it's not, you gotta install the phone clone app. Start phone clone, set your old phone as the old phone, and the Mate 30 Pro as your new phone. You've got to follow the instructions, tap the QR code, and you're gonna link both phones together. Now what this does is you can copy all the stuff from your old phone, from your contacts, to your pictures, to your videos, to your messages. But the most important thing we're going to do now for this particular tutorial are your app data. And if you go through your apps, you can practically see that you can install almost all the apps from your old phone to your new phone. This is what I was talking about before, that as long as you have an Android app, it should work on a new phone. Now you're going to see a lot of apps that are greyed out, that can't be installed. And a lot of these are the ones that specifically use GMS and therefore not compatible with HMS Android devices. But almost all of it can be installed. Like for example, now I have 69 out of 119 apps from my old phone that I can be installed to the new phone and I just select it, click transfer, set up my passcode and that's all you do, just wait for it to finish. Now 
Now, once this process is completed, um, you would notice that all the apps have been transferred. And I've got quite a bit of apps here. I've got like three pages of apps that have been transferred over from my old phone. Now, the other way to install apps on your Mate 30 Pro is of course through the app gallery. Now, this is Huawei's answer to Google's Play Store and it is exactly that. It's basically just an app store for a HMS Android phone. So all you do is click on App Gallery, start it, you would see a very App Store-like interface. You can search for your apps, check out categories, featured apps, top apps. And let's say I search for something, I search for TikTok. For example, if it's there, you're going to see the app, click Install, and you're going to install the app. Now, when we first reviewed the Mate 30 Pro, back then, there was only about 30 out of the top 100 Singapore local apps that were in the app gallery. Um, Huawei has updated us that by now they've gotten around 60 or so of the top 100 apps that are used in Singapore that's already in the app gallery. And they've said that by the time the P40 is launched, that means by the end of March, they're going to have around 80 out of the top 100 apps. So this goes to show that they are still working on getting apps in. However, if you want to check what apps are in there, a quick tip is instead of searching for the app, you could search for Singapore and it would actually list a lot of um, the local apps that Singaporeans use, like Singapore Airlines is there. Let's see, what do we have? We have Plus. Fave, Healthy365, we have View, Shopee, SG, Carousel, Lazada, all these things are there. SPH Radio, SP Utilities. So quite a lot of local apps are actually already in there if you search. There's even Parents Gateway, which is cool. Now, if your app isn't in the app gallery yet, for example, Facebook, Huawei has actually done something very useful. They've put, if you search for Facebook, for example, and Facebook's not there, right? But Huawei's put this cool little download link to get the app, and it directs you to Facebook's official website where you can download the APK file and install Facebook directly on the phone. Now, what are APK files? You think of this like a PC. Right? If you want to install programs on a PC, what do you do? You open your browser, you go to a website, you download the .exe file, the executable file, and you run it. On an Android phone, it's kind of the same thing. These are called APK files, and you can just install an APK file if you can find it. So, how do you get apps like YouTube on the Mate 30 Pro? Well, if your app has a website, it most probably will work. All you have to do is open up the browser, head to YouTube. Yeah, just like a PC. And you've got YouTube. And if you look at it, the interface is pretty much just exactly the same as the app. So if you want to get this on your phone, all you have to do is click these three little dots on the top right click Add to Home Screen and this will create a shortcut in your home screen that says YouTube. Now you can do this for Gmail, you can do this for other web services like internet banking and basically you've just created all these little home screen shortcuts that will go directly to the site on the browser and it looks just like your app. In short, HMS is looking like a very viable alternative to GMS and it's only growing by the day. If Huawei can get more and more developers on this platform, who knows, maybe one day you might even see HMS Android devices from other brands. Hey bro. Thanks. Hey, we got our food. Remember we ordered some nuggets just now? Got to eat. <laughs>